What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to do a subscriber requested video where we're going to put the Samsung Galaxy Bus 2 Pro. They're going to go head to head against the uh, top of the line, uh, the new champ in my uh, collection, the NeuroTrue Pros. All right, this should be a very good head to head. So let's get to it. All right, we are back in. And let's go ahead and jump straight into the price and specs. We'll start off with the uh, newer True Pros. Uh, they come in at three hundred twenty-nine bucks. You can get these on newer True and on the web on Amazon websites. As usual, I'll leave descriptions. I'll leave details uh, in the uh, comment section where you can uh, go ahead and take advantage of uh, the prices on these two ear these two sets of earbuds um, if you want. All right. Again, let's go on. Uh, you got as far as Bluetooth version, the earbuds are rocking Bluetooth 5.3. And as far as codec, the earbuds are supporting AAC, SPC, APTX, APTX adaptive, and the new APTX lawless uh, codec. So you've got some uh, a wide range of high uh, definition uh, codecs as well as future proofing uh, for the, the more upcoming earbud. Uh, excuse me cell phones and devices with Bluetooth, uh, with APTX Lawless, all right? As far as noise canceling, they do have a hybrid adaptive noise canceling uh, system in the earbuds. As far as battery life with the earbuds, you can get eight hours of playback time. And when you combine that with the case, you get 32 hours of playback time. The case does support quick charge, five minutes will get you an hour of playback. And the case itself supports wireless charging. As far as water resistance, the earbuds are rated at IPX4, so you can uh, get a little, get them splashed or have them at the gym, get a little sweaty in them. Uh, no problem there uh, as far as uh, the Bluetooth, uh, excuse me, the earbuds function. All right, as far as special features, the earbuds do offer uh, multi-point pairing and connecting, so you can connect these to two devices at once. They also give you um, spatial audio, which I, I really enjoy. Uh, using with these earbuds and they give it to you no matter what uh, uh, what device uh, you have so it's not it's it's not specific to any type of ecosystem which I find uh, very refreshing all right so let's go ahead and jump over to the Samsung Galaxy Bus 2 Pro these come in at 229 bucks uh, you sh I think you can still get these guys uh, for lower, cheaper than that with a qualified trade-in through Samsung off the Samsung website. You can also get these on Amazon as well. Uh, as far as Bluetooth version, these also support Bluetooth 5.3, but they only give you uh, AAC, SPC support as far as codec goes. So you don't get the high-end, uh, high-definition codecs, uh, but I have not uh, had any problems with sound, with audio, uh, despite just only having AAC and SBC. As far as uh, uh, noise canceling, they do have their have active noise canceling on the earbuds. And of course, uh, with uh, battery life, the earbuds themselves, you can get five hours with noise canceling turned on, up to eight hours with noise canceling turned off. Charging with the case, you can get up to 18 hours with noise canceling turned on up to 29 hours with noise canceling turned off. The case does support quick charge. Five minutes will give you an hour of playback time, just like on the Nord True Pros. And the case itself uh, does support wireless charging. As far as uh, water resistance, these are rated IPX7, so it got a little higher rating uh, than the uh, Nord Trues. I believe you can run these under wa underwater and not have to worry about them uh, being damaged uh, as far as special features, they do offer auto switching. Um, so I, I think that's mainly uh, mainly their stuff as far as, uh, you know, multi-point. They call it auto switch, but multi-point pairing and connecting is within uh, the Samsung ecosystem. So if you're using like a Galaxy Fold or any Galaxy phone and you want to switch to your Galaxy tablet, you can just quickly just go ahead and switch over uh you're and you're 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 not uh having any issues there now anything outside any other google's uh 
uh, device outside of the Samsung ecosystem will not be privy to that uh, function. Um, so you would definitely have to go into your Bluetooth settings and then uh, switch, uh, select uh, these earbuds in order to, you know, get them to connect to your device, which is a shame. They're following, it seems like they're following the, uh, the footsteps of Apple as far as having their earbuds tied direct mainly uh, into their ecosystem in order for you to be able to uh, enjoy uh, the full features of it. All right, both earbuds are, are feature rich. Let's continue. All right, let's go ahead and pull one of each of these out so we can do a quick uh, comparison of the form factors. As you can see, you definitely have two totally different uh, shapes. Uh, both are in-ear earbuds, but obviously you can say shape and size. As you can see, the uh, nothing ear, the no, oh, excuse me, nothing. The newer True Pros are much bigger than the the uh, Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. Um, just a, a much bigger earbud. Um, let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at the uh, Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. As you can see. Uh, very small. I like the matte black with the uh, gloss black on the speakers. I like that contrast. Uh, very, very small. They took traits from the Galaxy, uh, the Galaxy Buzz Pro, and then the new Galaxy Buzz, and the remake, if you will. And they took the better points of both of them and gave you and come up with this uh, design. Um, very comfortable in the air. Uh, very discreet as well. And with the proper air tips, uh, you get great, uh, you get good seal for noise canceling and it helps out with the bass and overall sound as well. Um, let's go ahead and switch over to the Nora True Pros. As you can see, a much bigger earbud. But as you can see here, this portion here is what goes into the ear. Of course, I have the wing attachment set on uh, put onto the earbud because you can mix and match the wings and ear tips. I have the, I have this uh, bigger air, bigger wing on here to make sure I got a secure fit. Uh, it fits right in on the inside the ear. Well, around the cartilage there locks in place. So you ain't got to worry about the earbuds falling out at all. All right. Again, they're a bigger earbud, but yet very comfortable. The weight is distributed nicely. Uh, with these earbuds. And I like the fact that you got a nice wide open uh, touch surface here to actuate a functionality uh, if you need it. Again, uh, nice size earbud. Look, it was about the size of a quarter almost, but just, I like that. I, I mean, I, I just, I do like that. And you, of course, you've got the gloss around the rim and the logo where you got matte black on the surface of the touch of the touchpad. Uh, I like that makes it look, gives it a little classy look. I like that. All right, let's go ahead and um, put these in and pull out the phone. We're going to take a look at them in ear. All right. All right, we're going to start off with the, the Galaxy Bus 2 Pro. As you can see here, uh, they don't take up a lot of the ear well. Um, they sit in nice and comfortably once you get that twist and lock in. They are in secure firm. You don't got to worry about them falling out at all. Uh, again, uh, doesn't takes up some of the air, air well, but not a lot. Um, I, they don't give me any type of uh, air fatigue as far as having them in long term uh, or any, I don't feel any type of pressure in the air canal or any type of irritation that way. Very comfortable earbuds uh, to wear long term. All right, let's. Go ahead and take a look at the Neuro True Pros. All right, here we go. As you can see, they, the big, you got the huge outer surface, touch surface there. Uh, of course, right behind that, taking up the entire ear, ear well is the actual earbud with the wing being locked in place so that the earbuds do not move, do not go out of, uh, get out of position or anything. And again, the proper ear tip, I'm still using uh, the uh, stock ones that came in the box. Uh, they seem to be serving me well, so I'm gonna just go ahead and run with them until I don't have to, until I need to change them rather. But again, you get in a great seal uh, with that. And of course you get 
a uh, very comfortable feel. Uh, again, just like the uh, Buzz 2 Pro, very lightweight. I like the way the, the weight is distributed across the bus so you don't run into air fatigue or anything like that. And I love the fact that you've got a nice big touch surface here uh, to work with when it comes to actuating functionality of these earbuds. Again, another uh, nice, comfortable uh, set of earbuds uh, between the two. All right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and get uh, these guys paired up. We're going to start off with the uh, Buzz 2 Pro, and we're going to take a walk through their app. So stay strapped in. All right, we are back in. Before we go any further, let me give a shout out to Ethan Arbel, the subscriber who requested this video. I should have did it in the last section and I didn't. So I want to go ahead and uh, put that out there now. Big ups to you, Ethan. I hope this helps you out and making any type of uh, choices uh, between the two earbuds uh, going head to head in this one. All right, so let's continue. We got the Galaxy Buzz 2 Pro already paired up. We got the app up and running. So let's go ahead and jump in. As you can see, you got a picture of the earbuds as well as the name of the earbuds and you got the battery level for the earbuds left and right here. And of course you have the uh, battery level of the case. Once you have the earbuds in the case, you will get this. If you take them out of the case, the case's battery percentage will disappear like so. Let me go ahead and try and give you that. As you can see, the case, uh, the case battery level has disappeared. Now they're only refer referencing the left and right earbud. All right, moving on. Let's go to the three dashes on the left. You go ahead and tap on those. It gives you a list of all your devices that you have uh, paired to the app, and you can switch in between. As you can see, I have my ear, my buds, and my my watch paired to the app right now. But of course, I have the Buzz Live and the Buzz Pro earbuds uh, sitting on standby in here. Okay. And of course you can add devices. You can manage your devices as well. Then of course you got the gear up here where you can go ahead and set permissions, notifications and everything like that. All right. Now moving on over here to the right, you can do a search. If you want to look for something specific, uh, that has to do with your earbuds, you can go ahead and do a search there. All right. Moving down, you've got your noise canceling, your noise controls. You've got uh, active noise canceling off in, in ambient mode. There are no uh, levels to it. Like in some devices, some earbuds where they give you like strength levels, these do not have it. It's either on, it's either active noise canceling, ambient sound, or off. That's all you get. Uh, we usually keep it on noise canceling because that way we get a, the best of sound out of it. All right. Then, of course, you got voice detect. This is uh, more like the speak to, te speak to chat uh, version of. Uh, version in uh, the Sony earbuds, where once you start talking, it will either pause or lower the volume of your audio. And then when you're done after so many seconds, it'll resume back to the regular uh, levels. And of course you got your touch controls. You only got, you got tap, double tap, triple tap and tap and hold uh, call and also call functions. So you can do, you can use those. If you tap on there, where I have it turned on, you can turn it on you know, for single tap, double tap, triple tap, but you can only, uh, dot, you can only make changes to the tap and hold functions. All right. I have mine for the right one where it switches the noise controls, left one calls up, uh, voice commands. All right. Then of course you got double tap and tap and hold, you know, double tap to, uh, to answering end calls <laughs> and then double tap to, uh, or triple tap, you know, or excuse me, not triple tap, but tap and hold to decline a call if you don't want to answer it. All right. So then moving on, you got your down below, you got your earbud settings and then, uh, you can go in, you got your equalizer. If you tap on that, let's go in there. Come on. All right. There's not an actual equalizer, but there are presets right now. I have it set to normal, but then we'll go in and change it to my uh, preferred setting on here and see how they sound uh, during the uh, sound test, but you do have bass boost, soft, dynamic, clear, and treble boost in there. You do not have a graphic equalizer, which I think is a miss in my opinion, when it comes to these earbuds, they would definitely uh, benefit from that. Um, okay. Moving on. You got your ear, your earbud fit test. You can always run that to make sure you got the right, uh, ear tips in. 
You got your read notifications out loud. You can turn that off or on. I leave that off because then, you know, of course it will read your e your text messages or emails or anything like that. And of course you got use ambient sound, use ambient sound during calls. So basically it will go into, if you're answering, you're talking to a, on a phone call comes or call comes through, it'll automatically switch you to ambient sound. That way you can hear your surroundings and doesn't sound like you're yelling. Uh, you don't have yelling on the phone or anything like that because you have noise canceling on. All right. Then of course you got your in-ear detection for calls. You can turn that on. This will, you know, plays it through the earbuds. If you have them in your ear, if you don't have them in your ear, it will come through your phone. I have that turned on. Uh, and of course you got seamless earbud connection. Now this portion, this version here, or this, this, uh, option here works within the Samsung ecosystem. All right. This gives you that multi-point uh, pairing and connecting where you can switch between devices uh, if you're in, you know, within the ecosystem. Like if you have the uh, a Galaxy phone, the Galaxy tablet, you got the earbuds and you want to, you're switching between devices like that. You can go ahead and do that. Again, like I said, this does, this does not work for any other Android device, only those within the Galaxy ecosystem. Then you got to stretch, uh, neck stretch reminder this here, uh, this, you know, I'll leave that on, uh, well, I'll leave it off right now, but basically what happens is, is it monitors, uh, how you sit, um, you know, and if you're like leaning, like if you're at a computer, your computer or a laptop for long periods of time, you got the earbuds in, it'll give you a notification that, Hey, you might want to, uh, you know, lift up, straighten your neck up. You know, that helps with posture and everything. And it also gives you uh, muscle relief in your, your neck and uh, uh, upper back area. So it's a very good feature to have. I have it turned off for right now, but i am got to remember to turn that back in on. All right. Then, of course, moving down, you got in labs where you can tap the edge of the ear tip of the earbud to actuate uh, options, a double tap. So that way you can go ahead and uh, right on the tip here that goes into the ear. Right along, right on, let me put this down real fast. Right along this portion here, once it's in the air, you don't have to tap directly on the uh, air, um, directly on the surface here. You can tap right here to actuate uh, the function uh, if you need to. Uh, it's a very good function to have. That way you don't have to rem you know, remember exactly where to where they hit, where to touch on the touchpad in order to get functionality there. You can get, this allows you to get as close as possible to the center and then it will activate, uh, you know, your fun, your, uh, command function that you wish to do. All right. And of course you got your reset here. And then of course you got accessibility inside here is where you can do like your, uh, balance where you can say, for instance, you want to move it over to the more so to the right earbud than the left earbud. If there, you having like hearing, uh, problems there, you can go ahead and, uh, make that adjustment, which is very cool. You know, you got you activate noise controls on one earbud. I had that turned on and I turned off amplify ambient sound. But like, again, if you have hearing issues and stuff like that, and you need that, you can go ahead and have that turned on and it will amplify all the ambient sound. Once you were in ambient um, sound mode, all your surroundings, the, the sounds around you will be amplified so you can hear a lot better. All right. Again, a nice, uh, app that nice portion, uh, or into the app that you that to have rather uh, i really like that all right and of course you can do earbud you know your earbud updates and then of course about the earbuds okay and that is a quick walkthrough uh or not so quick walkthrough of the very feature packed earbud uh app for the uh galaxy bus 2 pro what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get these swapped out and we're going to walk through the new the Nord get them paired up and we're going to walk through the uh, Nord app for the Nord True Pros. So stay strapped in. All right, we're back in. We got the Nord True, Pro, Tro, <laughs> Nord True Pros all paired up. We, in, we got the app up and running. So let's go ahead and dive in. As you can see, uh, main page has the name of your profile here, has your actual profile after you do the personalized te uh, hearing test. Um, and of course you can see it says personalize here. We'll come back to that in a second. Of course I hit the top in the upper left corner, you got the three dashes. So let's dive into that quick. That takes you into, 
uh, another menu where you can do uh, you can connect into your account. We will dive right now into the device settings. So we will dive in there. All right, inside here, you can do your, uh, you can configure your touch um, buttons. You got, op, you know, you can set up double tap, double tap, triple tap, tap and hold for both the left and right earbud, or you can reset them back to default. All right, and of course you got your modes. Right now I have it on performance mode right now. Um, you do have a uh, performance and low power or custom mode if you decide to make any type of changes. All right. Now, of course, you got your multi point option here. You can turn that off and on if you only want to use sync one device or you just don't want to deal with multi point altogether. I do it turned on. And as you can see, it gives me uh, the list there of the two devices that is currently uh, tied to or paired to right now. And of course, you got music takeover which basically allows you to, if you're listening to one device, you can go ahead and hit play on the second device and it will transition you right over to the second device flawlessly. Uh, it's a great, uh, it's a great feature. I really do like it. And they, and then of course you got enable so social mode and ANC. I have that turned on. So that way you can go into, uh, their social mode, which is their version of the transparency mode. And you can switch between that and noise canceling. All right. Spatial audio option I have that turned on uh, where you can op you can use spatial audio uh, we won't be using it when we do the sound test because the uh, the, the bus 2 pro does not have that feature so we're not going to take we're not going to do that auto pause behavior I have it set to just one earbud so if you take one earbud out it will pause your audio you put it back in there it will resume. All right, down here I have enable you user um, end user volume limiter. This is for like if you have like hearing problems or anything like that. I turn that off. It will this uh, it will definitely limit how loud the earbuds get. And of course you got the high gain mode. I have that turned off too. Again, that's for if you have a uh, 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 low vo low sounding audio. You can turn that on to increase the gain on that audio to get better sound out of it. Uh, but I have that turned off, uh, as you can see. Then, of course, you got your voice prompt volume. I have it set to medium. You can go medium, high, or low, but I just, like I said, medium is good for me. And, of course, your uh, your voice um, your language for your prompts, I have, obviously, at English. And, of course, you got your serial number here for the left and right earbud, firmware, software version. You got your app version. Then, of course, you can do, uh, go in here and click here for so for updates. And of course, you got other options here. You can enter discovery mode if you try and pair it to another device. Uh, clear all paired device lists. Clear your paired device list. Anything on there get wiped away. So then you're basically not paired to anything anymore. And then of course you can perform a factory reset. All right. So we go ahead and close out. Of course, take one step back. And you got your help, help and support here. You got offers and promotions. And then of course you got about Nora here. Then of course you can log out of the app if you would like to as well. All right. Now, of course, going back to the main page up here at the top, you have your pro EQ, which is, you can turn it off and on right now. I have it off, but you can utilize, uh, let's turn it on real quick and you can make adjustments to this is an actual functioning five band equalizer where you can make adjustments to it if you want to, but we're going to turn that off for now. And of course you have the option. Uh, the immersion mode, which will give you uh, more base or less base. I have it set at zero. So for this test here, then of course, going back, you got your added profile. Say for instance, you want someone else uses your earbuds and they have a different profile or you want to set someone else up. You can add it here. It'll allow you to run and add another person and you can do the same thing here. It'll take you to the exact same spot. So these two, work the exact same, um, you know, when you add a profile there. All right. And of course you can share your profile or your music list to someone else. You can go ahead and do that. And of course you got your battery level of your earbuds here in the upper right corner. Now this is what my profile looks like after running through the personalized test. Now down here at the bottom here, you've got earbuds with a, a solid circle around them and get that closer. That is for noise canceling. If you tap that, it becomes a dotted line. That means noise canceling. You are now in uh, social mode. And then 
Okay, you're back in that noise canceling. And of course, on you on the far right here, you right here you have this is represents spatial audio. You turn that off, it grays out. That means spatial audio is turned off. We're gonna leave that off because Sam's the Galaxy Bus 2 Pro does not have it. So that feature. So we're not going to incorporate that in the sound test. And of course, here in the middle, I have it set to personalize. You got neutral here. You can go ahead and select between that and personalize settings. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off with this in neutral setting uh, for the sound test. And then we'll work our way through with the uh, equalizer utilizing that and then going into the personalized and seeing what we do and seeing how it does. Okay. All right, so what we're gonna do, this was a, <laughs> I ready to jump the gun. This has been a walkthrough of the app, of the Nora app for the Nora True Pros. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go ahead and go through the mic test for each of these earbuds, and then we'll do the sound test. So stay strapped in. This is a mic test with the Galaxy Buzz 2 Pro in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Galaxy Buzz 2 Pro in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Galaxy Buzz 2 Pro in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Galaxy Buzz 2 Pro in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Nora True Pros in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Nora True Pros in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Nora True Pros in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Nora True Pros in a crowded location. All right, we are back in. We got the uh, Galaxy Bus 2 uh, Pro already paired up. And in the ears, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and jump into their app first. So we're going to pull that up on this screen. Oops. Oh, it came up. All right. We'll just go ahead and flip that over. All right. So it actually you know that the earbuds is up and running. Uh, we got it uh, noise canceling uh, turned on. So what we want to do, we're going to go into the earbud settings and into equalizer. Right now we're in normal setting. So what we want to do, let me slide these back a little bit. Is we're going to pull up our music here on this, <clears throat> excuse me, on the second screen. All right. And we're going to jump into my music list here. And then we're going to start off with Let's go ahead. We're going to start off with uh, Private Eyes. No, actually, you know what? No, we're going to go ahead with, again, Lenny Kravitz. Let's do that one. All right. Let's get up to our preferred volume level. Okay. All right. Let's go one more notch up. Now, let's stay here. All right. We'll stay there. All right. Now we are in normal mode and everything seems a little flat in my opinion. I mean, you got the nice uh, sound stage. Vocals are okay. So let's go ahead and switch over to uh, dynamic, which is what my preferred one here. Okay. Now here we have a more lively sound. Right here, we have a more lively sound. The bass is in, uh, is in, is turned up a little bit. The uh, ner the uh, treble and mids are turned up. It it just sounds more lively, um, not as flat as the normal sound uh, would be, and uh, just a much much better sound. So we're going to leave it here on dynamic because I prefer that one uh, for the setup, and we're going to go through our other songs as well. So let's go ahead and um, slide down. Uh, the list here, we're going to do, you know, let's do something with some a little bunt, little punch to it, a little bass. All right, let's go ahead and go with, let's go with Godzilla. We're going to do Godzilla here. Okay. Bass is there. All right. Again, vocals are nice and clear. Okay. Now we got some, the bass is here and it is, but it's not punching you. You hear it, but it's, it doesn't have that boom. 
Let's go into base boost real quick. I know I said we're going to stay on dynamic, but I just want to try base boost. Okay. Now, that's the bass sounds better on here, but you lose a little bit of the uh, clarity in the vocals. All right. So we back to dy dynamic, and it sounds good. The vocals are good. It's just. The bass, it doesn't give you that hit like I would expect it to um, from these earbuds. They just don't hit like that. And that's a shame because these are really good sounding earbuds. Uh, this is the reason why I wish they had like a graphic equalizer where you can go ahead and uh, tweak that and make it, give it that punch that is missing. All right, let's go ahead and go into home again. Or going home rather, sorry. See how we do. All right. And we got some. All right. You got a nice warm sound. Sound stage is nice and wide open. Sounds good. Okay. Nice. Uh, clear lead saxophone. Sounds really good. Again. I just I just wish this had a graphic equalizer. But this sounds good. This sounds nice, really good. I mean, you got just enough bass uh, and everything. So everything just sounds really nice all together. The, the, uh, vocal, the uh, lead saxophone was nice and loud, nice and clear. But I mean, in it. You know, your sound stage was great. You got just enough bass. It sound really good. Um, I just wish that these had a graphic equalizer that you can really get in and fine tune it to the way you want it. And it, it would just sound, uh, I think they would sound even more impressive if they had that within the app. All right. Okay. So what I want to do is uh, we'll go ahead and get these swapped out. And we'll go ahead with the newer trues and get them paired up and run them through the sound test. So stay strapped in. All right, we are back in. We got the newer true pros already paired up and in the ears. Let's go ahead and dive into their app. As you can see, I already got my music already queued up. So let's go ahead and jump into their app here. All right, we'll go ahead and get connected. All right. Now we're in, okay, as you can see, we have, it's already come in, we're on personalized. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put it on neutral. Uh, spatial audio is turned off. The EQ is turned off for the moment. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull up Lenny Kravitz again. Let's get that pumping. All right, let's get to our All right, this is our preferred volume level. All right, you still, it's, it sounds good, even on neutral with no EQ. So let's go ahead and jump into our EQ. Got a nice little, nice little bass in this. Very nice, even with no, with no, no uh, enhancement. Let's go ahead and turn on the EQ. All right. Everything got a little louder, more brighter, got a great sound. These sound amazing, even on the EQ. All right, even on the EQ, these guys sound amazing. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our next song, which is <clears throat> Godzilla. Let's go. Oh, the bass is amazing on this. Even this is the bass on this song is just it's more powerful, more aggressive. Vocals are clear. All right, what we want to do now? Oh my goodness, we're gonna go ahead and turn this off. Now we're back to neutral, and now we're back in. We're gonna go down to personalize. Oh, okay. Now. This is a world 
difference. Everything got cleaner, got clearer. Vocals are in more, much more cleaner, much more. Mm. All right, I gotta pause this. <laughs> I gotta pause that. All right, let me go into. Uh, all right, so now I'm not yelling. <laughs> I had to turn it on. Uh, uh, their uh, I guess ambience note. Uh, so basically, everything got much, much cleaner, much crisper. Uh, the sound stage got a little much wider, more, much brighter. Uh, the bass punch was even, I mean, the bass punch was good with just using the equalizer. It was very impressive there, <clears throat> but then when you went to personal mode, it took it like just right, like literally two steps up, three steps up, if you will, on the overall sound, just amazing in personal mode. Amazing. All right. Um, let's, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring it into, uh, going home by Kenny G and we're going to, uh, compare, uh, the three, we're going to compare neutral. Then we're going to do it in the key, uh, equalizer, the pro EQ, and then we're going to do personalized all in one is one song. So bear with me here. Cause this is a fantastic earbuds. All right, let's, let's go. All right. First of all, before I, before I say, let's go, let's get into neutral. <clears throat> All right, so now we're in neutral. Let's hit it. All right, now we're in neutral. It's nice. It's a more subtle, warm sound. I still got uh, I still got the uh, ambient sound on, so that way I'm not yelling. <laughs> Sounds really good though. Nice, clean. Let me turn that back on to noise cancel real quick, just to. Okay, with noise canceling, it did get a little bit browder, a little bit lighter, a little bit louder, overall volume wise. We're gonna turn that down so I can talk to you guys. All right, now let's go ahead and jump into the EQ. We're gonna turn the EQ on now with my personal settings. Oops. All right, now that's it. Sounds really good. The bass got a little bit more pronounced. The uh, mids and treble got you know improved much more cl much more clearer. All right, now let's go ahead and try it with noise canceling. It got even louder. Uh, everything got even louder with noise canceling turned on. All right, so and then of course it improved everything else. So let's go ahead and jump into personalize. Now everything is deeper. Uh, the bass is deeper. The sub bass is deeper, but you still get that sharpness from the uh, from the lead saxophone in this song. So it's the and at, and with all three levels, sound stage is nice and wide. So you ain't got to worry about that. But let's go ahead and try it with noise canceling. Oh man. So good. Such a great sound. I had to turn on had to go back in the uh, ambient mode. Such a great overall sound. All right. So you got three. I love the fact you got three levels that you can work with. A lot of people say that the, uh, the Nortrues are more geared towards the personalized setting. And I get it. And you're right. But name me. Uh, a set of earbuds with an app that allows you to go through and pick one of the three uh, phases that you can, and you can utilize, you can listen to the music through those phases at all times. You can, I, I can't find either one. That's what I love about these. So we can, you know, you can try at three different levels at three different um, uh, settings and, and pick your poison. It's, it's just a fantastic sound all the way around. So what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna go ahead and get this cleaned up and I'm gonna come back with my final thoughts on these two earbuds. So stay strapped in. Back in uh, with my final thoughts on these two earbuds. And I have to say, although the Galaxy Buzz 2 Pro do sound good, uh, I just think that they really need a graphic uh, a graphic equalizer to, um, made, to take advantage 
of the potential in these earbuds, but they do sound good even with the uh, presets. I just wish they had more, but the Nortru Pros are phenomenal. These guys are just, oh, these are really, really good earbuds, man. Even on a, the three levels that it's got, the neutral level, it sound good, just a little lower than when you go into the Pro EQ and get your own personalized settings set up on there. They, you could literally rock out one the Pro EQ by itself, okay? But then if you go in and switch into the into the uh, personalized setting, oh, I, I that's just a whole nother level. Uh, uh, you got nice, clear vocals, clear sound, sound stage is incredible. The bass is it, it, it's perfect for for you. Uh, so the bass always hits you upside the head the way it should. And then the sub bass is always, you know, right there behind it. Just even after you get that big thump upside the head, that's that little, that sub bass is right there just hitting you with jabs. So it's real, it's a really good, um, just a, just a great sound. Um, this is why these guys are my number one earbuds, uh, going into 2023. Uh, uh, so it's going to be a tough, it's going to be tough to, uh, to take these guys out, um, to be honest with you. But again, uh, I would have to go with the Nora True Pros in this head to head. Um, over the sound is just fantastic. Uh, overall, on all levels. Um, like I said, with the with the Buds Two Pro, they do sound good. I I use them with my tablet, my Samsung tablet. I, that way, I can get the most out of it with the spatial audio feature and everything like that. Um, I I do like that. Uh, because you can only use that with the uh, with Google devices. You cannot use this. Uh, I cannot use spatial audio when I have it connected to my my Surface Duo 2 because you can't. You won't be able to. You can't use it. I can with the Neurotrue Pros, but not with the uh, Buzz 2 Pro. All right. But again, these are very good, especially if you're in the Samsung ecosystem. Like if you're deep into it like that, with you got the phone, you got the watch. You got the tablet in your deep end, by all means, absolutely. These guys uh, will do the trick. You get the spatial audio feature, then you get the full potential of utilizing uh, all the uh, all the functionality of these earbuds here. Um, I would recommend them for your, if you're in that ecosystem, I would recommend these to you. And it's a shame um, that they go on this route, the same route of Apple, because to be able to provide this to all of Android users or all users in general would be fantastic. And that's where the NeuroTrue pros shine also, not only with the sound, the personalized sound, but they also give you all those features and you can use them no matter what device you're using, uh, which except for, I don't, I don't know about PC because if you have it connected to your, uh, if you have it connected to your tablet, or I mean, it's not tablet, but your laptop. Um, I think if I think it will go on your phone setting, so I think you still could be able to use it there. I don't know. I'll have to test that and then try it. But um, this is a great set of earbuds, and and they get the win here again. Uh, this has been the head to head uh, subscriber request head to head between the Galaxy Buds Pro, Galaxy Buds Two Pro, <laughs> and the Nord True Pro earbuds. Uh, shout out. To uh, Ethan Arbel, once again, hey, my brother, I appreciate you coming through with the request. I hope this answered any comp qu any questions that you may have with uh, in regards to these two earbuds. Uh, and if anyone else out there that wants to uh, or would like to see any type of specific head-to-head, -head, go ahead and put it in the comment section, and I'll see about making that happen for sure. Uh, if I have the devices available, I will go ahead and do that. If I don't, I will definitely try to make that happen. Um, again, I'd like to thank each of you guys for coming out and checking me out. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you are wanting to join me on this journey, we just surpassed uh, 700 uh, subscribers, which I'm very, very appreciative of. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. That way you, you're notified when videos like this drop, you can also follow me on uh, Twitter and Instagram at Ron on tech. I'll usually leave some information out there when I'm doing unboxings 
uh, software update uh, walkthroughs. Uh, and like the gauntlet series, uh, when I'm about to kick off the gauntlet series, uh, with a set of earbuds and, and the like. So again, you can reach me out there. You can catch me there. You can catch me on Twitter. Uh, and again, thank you guys for coming out and checking out your boy. Nor true pros are not to be fooled with. Talk to you on the next one. Peace.